Hello, white people. Looky here. I went to the grocery store yesterday and I found a package of pork chops that was on sale for 99 cents a pound. Now, it wasn't just one package of pork chops. All the pork chops were on sale for 99 cents a pound. The normal price, allegedly, is three forty nine a pound. And this particular package, it was the last day to sell it, so they discounted it to $2.14 for 2.69 pounds of pork chops. Hold on a minute here. Now the fear merchants, or the spin doctors, told us there was going to be a meat shortage, a pork shortage, a protein shortage. But I'm not seeing it. Are you seeing any sort of a shortage? I mean, at the beginning of the stupidity, we saw, saw shortages because grocery stores were limiting the amount of, um, of uh, restock that they were sending to stores from their warehouses. They were That was not real. It was completely fabricated. And um, we're going to find out probably that... Um, you know, the toilet paper shortage or whatever, we'll probably find out that uh, Costco employees were told to take down the toilet paper and the paper towels and uh, and the uh, cleaning supplies, there because there is no real shortage. And, uh, you know, even over the, or when was it, last fall, so canning season, so apparently we had a jar shortage, a lid shortage, all kinds of stuff. There's no shortage at all. It's just these people creating this fake shortage because, you know, they're saying that some plants are being shut down, like the meat processing plants are being shut down. If the meat processing plants are being shut down, why do we have pork chops at 99 cents a pound? Why? And nobody's buying pork chops, so they're $2.14, This you know, because it's the last day for this one before it has to be thrown in the trash. Why is that? And, you know, a lot of people, the people were afraid of losing their jobs and they complied with the, uh, the stupidity. So how much of this is real and how much of it is fabricated? You know, certain kinds of businesses went out of business, like dance studios, just fluff kind of businesses, not essential places like meat processing plants. There was, there's been no shortage of meat from my observation, and I've been in, um, in several different states over the last year. So what has your experience been? And also, um, I put up a new video on um, that channel that starts with a B and ends with a U-T-E. And uh, the last thing I'm going to tell you about... Oh, and I'll put a link in the comment section for that video. It's uh, currently uploading. Um, and then um, I got busted by um, the gods at YouTube. You know, they were angry with me, so they put me in timeout for seven days. I got to think about my, um, my sins. And uh, I uh, spoke against their god, who... Their God's name is Who. And anytime you say anything against Who, then you know then you then you get put in a timeout, or I might get end up end up getting kicked off this platform. But you know, fuck those bitches. I was insulting um, the uh, the P is in pork, the C is in chops, the R is in roasted testing, and so that got me busted. <laughs> So fucking what? I don't care. All right, white people. Thank you so much for listening. I look forward to your thoughts below.